However, I decided to opt against that because the fault is basically my own mistake. What's up YouTube? This is my review of the Ryzen Scope Series Athletic Hooded Sweater. That's a long name. Ryzen, just gonna keep it simple. Ryzen Hooded Sweater. I'm not being paid to make this video. I'm just a fanboy of their products. So this is just my review because I like them. Um, so I bought them with my own money, bought it a few weeks ago because the weather in Germany has not been getting any better. So I just decided to get a couple of long sleeve options for my runs. Ryzen is a German brand and they produce all their products in Europe. So they definitely have a focus on quality. And I also like their style. I find them quite fashionable because I'm not such a big fan of most running clothes out there. I think Ryzen is doing a good job in making it at least look a little bit fashionable when running. They actually focused on triathletes or triathlon clothing. Because I'm just a runner, I'm really just obsessed with their running stuff and that's all I actually care about. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any triathletes watching my videos. So the athletic hooded sweater comes in five different colors. This is the sunken teal, which is kind of a green bluish color. If you ask me, according to the website, the hoodie is made out of recycled material, whatever that means. So they focus mainly on being eco-friendly and slow fashion, which I like. I've worn it a couple of times out in the trails. It's a very comfortable material, keeping you nice and warm. Uh, you can wear a t-shirt underneath uh, in case you need the extra layer or even an extra outer layer if you feel that you need more protection from the elements. I'm usually quite happy with their products and it's not much different with this one, but I do have one point of criticism and I've emailed the support desk and they came back with quite a good reply. So I'm positively surprised about that. They did offer to send me a replacement. However, I decided to opt against that because the fault is basically my own mistake, but it still offered me a discount on a future purchase. So good for them for, for keeping a returning customer happy. The sizing is pretty good. I decided to get a small this time. I want me to 70 and I'm about 70 kilos. I'm not really athletically built. I'm just a small guy. So small fits perfect. Medium would have been too big and extra small would have been too small. The sleeves are nice and long and they have an extra hole for the thumb. And even then it's nicely placed over the hand to keep my hands nice and warm. The hoodie is quite tight. So if you were to place this over your head, you basically really just have your face, but it's, not, it's nice and stretchy material, so it's not annoying at all. This material is very very soft and it's really really comfortable. You can also just wear it indoors or if you're just doing some light stretching inside, maybe even some yoga. It's actually really really great. It's extremely soft and extremely comfortable. You can see they've really put quite some effort into making it durable. The stitching is really good. Now to my criticism. So I went out for a run with a trail backpack and after the first run I can already see that the but that my back is starting to pill a little bit. So I'll show you in some B-roll, but you can see that the back is pilling a little bit. So it's kind of like, you can see that the material is just not used to the extra rubbing of the running backpack uh, for so long, which is kind of a shame because if they're focused on running, they would at least have, should, they should have tested something like this because it's not uncommon that people wear running backpack nowadays. Trail running has become quite popular. I think more and more people are going out for long distance running and long distance runners, you see quite some with running backpacks um, out in the trails. So this is a perfect hoodie for running in the trails. But if the back starts to peel just because of that, that's kind of a shame. Um, so yeah, so I emailed them. They sent me a reply asking that I could just uh, send it back for a return. I decided to opt against that because I don't feel it's fair against them because I made that mistake of running with a backpack and I don't want to contribute to the extra postage sending products there to send me a new one this shirt will basically be shredded which i think is a shame so i decided against that i told them thank you but no and they basically just replied saying okay we're happy that you're happy with the product and they gave me a, a i don't want to say 10 percent discount on the next purchase isn't much but it's something that to show that they care what was also nice about this hoodie is that it's not even too warm so you can even wear it as an extra layer against UV light. All in all, I'm really happy with it and I can recommend Ryzen product to anyone. They're a small German brand, so they're not really famous around the world. So I'm guessing quite some of you will never even hear of them ever again, but uh, I'd like to at least shout out to them because I really like their products. Let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful or if you're interested in trying out their products. Thank you again for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.